What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. This is an impromptu video uh, because of what just happened, and it made me think about a topic that uh, I think I can possibly explain to some African Americans who don't get it and can't get offended by it. All right, you see what I'm wearing, right? What I have on is like my outfit for being a chief. Like when you're a chief, you have to put your chief beads on and you put your double wrist on. That signifies your title, right? Now in Nigeria, when I as soon as I get to the airport, they know what that is. It's they know. Right, but in America, everybody don't know. They think I'm just dressed up fashionably, right? African fashionably, but some people be knowing, right? And a lot of questions African Americans get is where you from, right? And then when they tell them, oh, I'm from Detroit, I'm from DC, they get the secondary question, no, where you really from? And I find that some African Americans actually get offended by that because they're like, what you mean where I'm from? From America, I said I'm from here, I'm from Detroit, I'm from Detroit, I'm from DC, I'm from DC, right? They get offended by the question, because I was just asked that question, right? Because, you know, guy was, because he sees me all the time, but then he saw me like this, and he just wanted to know, right? You got to understand, I made a video about this a long time ago, but I'm going to do it again, because, you know, you have certain identifiers, right? Like, for instance, we can, in America, right? I'm going to start all the way at the bottom and work my way up so I can y'all can grasp this, right? Us African Americans, you know, let's say we meet somebody, right? You know, be like, where you from? We ain't never seen them before, whatever. Where, where you from? What we mean is what city you from? What state you from, right? We ask the same question. They be like, yeah, I'm from here. I'm from here. And from that, we act because we want to qualify or we want to kind of have a better understanding of who are we in front of? Who are we talking to? Who is this person I'm, I'm interacting with? Where are you from? Where are your perspective? Like, because I want to know because I'm talking to you. I'm interacting with you. I just kind of want to know. It's not, it's a harmless question, right? So we'll ask, where you from, bro? Bro, like if I went to Texas and I just start talking, if I just rolled, just, uh, let's say I got a cousin in Texas, I go to Texas, you see my cousin, and then they hear me talking, I'm with his group, whatever. They're like, man, hey, boss, where, where you from? I'm like, I'm from DC, DMV. That's the, qu so he is qualifying me from being DC. Okay, that's why you sound like that. That's why you talk like that. That's why you have that type of, mm, you know, whatever. Same thing if I was down in New Orleans, right? If somebody from New Orleans came to DC, we'd be like, hey, we hear that southern, that deep south. Where you from, bros? They be like, oh, I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Now, from our recollection as African Americans, our only reference is where are other African Americans from, right? But we are, in fact, Africans, right? We may not feel we are African in our in our brains, right? We may not be programmed to be everything African, but it doesn't change the fact that we are Africans, right? And we. We African Americans may have been told we 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 may have been purposely de-educated to understand where we're from, but you must understand that in reality there is a whole half a group of people who knows exactly who you are, right? And just like we can always we can be anywhere, right? We can be anywhere around the world and we we'll know a black person when we see it. We we'll know a black person. We we'll be like, and we're gonna ask, wait, where you from? Right? Because we want to say what part of what part of black are you? What kind of black are you? Right? So when an African comes here, right? Let's say an African's in America and they're interacting with you. They, from their perspective, they're from, the, they're from the root, meaning from their perspective, they can identify who belongs to who, what group you are, probably what tribe you're from, right? Tribe or vast kingdoms, okay? So when you think about an African tribe, think about a vast kingdom. Kingdom, think about kingdoms, all right? And everything that comes along with a kingdom, Right, various kingdoms. That's what we call a tribe. We, people like to say tribe to belittle the group, but it's actually these are empires and vast kingdoms, right? With long, rich history that far supersedes anything Europe got going on, right? Vast, huge, huge kingdoms and groups of people, right? That we call tribes. So an African who's used to being being able to identify the minute phenotypical differences. In Africa, so you probably belong to that group over there. You probably that group over there. Maybe you might be part of this group over there. When they come here, they can st still identify African Americans the same way. Because remember, African Americans are a combination of those very extreme tribes. And yes, there's mixing that did go on via rape, but it wasn't as much as you think. All Africans, we didn't just mix up. We're not just a big ass mixed bowl, all right? We're mainly just Africans with a little bit of European in us. And at the same time, those very same West Africans and Af when they do their DNA test, do you know that it turns out 
a lot of them have the same European ancestry that that eleven that two to to twenty percent they have that in them too. Because keep in mind, the European wasn't just graping us when we got here. They were graping us when we was in Africa. The colonizer was graping the African, just like the enslaver was graping the African. They were graping us everywhere. So there are a lot of Africans who also have the same percentage of European colonizer in them as African Americans. So we genetically are legitimately the same. It's just geographically we've been separated, right? So when an African sees us, they're gonna say, first they may say, where are you from? You might say, Michigan. You might say, DC, New York. And they're like, okay, I got that. But where are you from? Because keep in mind, they're probably speaking with the same accent you got. And they don't even know that you might not be a foundational black American. They may think you're an African because you know, second generation, Africans don't use their accents very often. Second generation Caribbeans don't use their accents always when in general public. And we all have accents. Like for instance, DC. Y'all know we got an accent. Do you ever hear me using that accent? The DC accent is just as strong as any African or Caribbean accent. Just as distinct and strong. But you never hear me use it. Why? Because I want you to understand me. Right? The only time I dive into the accent is when I'm around my fellow Washingtonians and we get into our Washingtonian bag. And all of a sudden, it's, you know, it's on mothers. It's on mothers and them, you know? I'm I'm we have our own accent, but we don't use it. It goes, the same thing goes for everybody else who wants, who are black people who have to be professional in the professional world. We all got to put on acts for this European while we're over here. So if we've mastered the art of talking in a general sense and most of us black people do that we talk in a general sense so with that being said and since everybody looks exactly the same the question has to be asked where you from but where you really from meaning where you really from because africans recognize you as an african that is the indicator that they're not accepting that you're your national you're talking about nationality that's not where you from that's where your people reside now where are you from from is the past where are you from what is your origin? What part of Africa are you from? What tribe are you from? Is the question they're asking. Now, it's offensive to some African Americans because we would assume, well, shit, how, how are we supposed to know? We don't know. We don't know. Now, we used to not have the ability to know, but now you have the ability to know. So that when I hear people say, we don't know where we come from. No, it's you don't know where you come from because you haven't taken the time to find out. Because those who want to find out where they come from can find out. I, and I found out. Mali, Nigeria, Congo, South Africa. That's my origin. I know where I'm, so when an African who wants to qualify me all the way to my first identifier is African or black, he wants to know what region of the continent am I from? That's what they're asking you. It should be taken as a compliment that these Africans are trying to find out what kind of African you are because they see you as African. So that already debunks the whole idea that Africans don't 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 think believe we African or Africans don't see us as the same when they're literally looking at you talking about what tribe you from. <laughs> like you gotta think. You know, so when somebody when when somebody asks you that, don't get offended. Just be like, if you know, tell them what your percentages are. Be like, oh, uh here, here, and here, and here. Right? Or if you don't know, say, Well, I haven't done my DNA test yet. I'm not quite sure, but I know it's West Africa. Because ninety nine percent of the time is gonna be Ghana or Nigeria. It's gonna be Ghana and Nigeria. If you do the DNA test of people from Nigeria, I, if you do the DNA test of people from Nigeria, the African spread will look just like an African American. It'll be like South, it'll be like Mali, it'll be like South, Southern South uh, Africa, it'll be a little bit of European in there because of the color. It will look identical to an West tour. The East portion of America and the West of Africa, those people are the same people. There's just a little lake in between that we call the Atlantic Ocean. That's it. All right. So the next time an African say, where you really from? Don't get offended. Either you know and you tell them, just say West, West and Central Africa, I'm not sure. I haven't done my DNA yet, DNA test yet. And they will be like, oh, okay. And they might even tell you what they think you look like. Because I don't know how many times I done, you know, I've been on here and some African American that never been to Africa will tell me I don't look African. And then an African will say, no, what are you talking about? He looks just like Evo. He looks just like my tribe member. He looks just like this. He looks just like my people. I'm from here and he looks just like, this. exactly like. It's because you guys are not aware what Africans look like. Because you only see one type of African For the most part Because you have a small sample size Because there's not that many As much ruckus as we like to you know, talk There's not that many Africans in America The majority of us are African Americans There's not that many Africans in America 
All right, so you're not gonna have a vast sample size. And the only Africans you're gonna see in America are the ones that have countries that have pe enough people that's leaving the country to try to go to different places. Only people are doing that really now are, are, are Egyptian, or not Egyptians, are Nigerians, Ghanaians, some Gambians, Ethiopians. That's it. There's 54 countries in Africa. And only like four of them really got to the point where there are people even flying to America to, to do anything. Some of them don't have no reason to come here, right? A lot of them are going to the UK because it's closer. Some of them are going to Canada because it's a little easier, right? But the ones here in America, because it's very difficult, it's not that many, you know? So don't get offended when somebody asks you where you from, but where you really from. Because you should be wanting to know that. That's the whole reason you mad anyway in the first place. Because you don't know where you from. Because they took it from you. Now an African is telling you, what is it? Now it's up to you to go find out. Spit in the goddamn cup answers the question. No excuses anymore. Don't tell me DNA don't work and then go to the same website and do a genealogy report. Don't tell me that science don't work, but you want to read on a piece of paper and you take that wholeheartedly. Come on, man. Science versus what this white person said over here. Mm -hmm. Science or what your grandma, grandmama said Who had a 6th grade education Come on Your grandpapa and your grand, your, your grandfather and your grandma Was too busy working to make sure that you guys Survived to go to school and do all that stuff For the most part 6th they, they, grade, 8th grade education as far as they went for the most part Back then because they had to work All right, Times was different back then You can't expect them to know these type of things right? So you can't hang on with your grandmama said Because she light scared because her mama got great by some white man and she couldn't call the police or couldn't complain so she just said it was an Indian because she didn't want to feel ashamed for herself. You know, she didn't want to be feel, feel ashamed for it. You know how shameful women feel when they get abused? They blame themselves. You know how many women get abused and don't even talk about their abuser? Right? Because they're scared. You better say it was an Indian who did it, not the next door neighbor. Shit. Right? But anyway, I just thought I, I throw that out real quick because I think that was a little real important. I was going to do that before, but don't get offended when an African asks you where you where you from, where you really from. You should be finding out where you really from so you can really really from so you can answer the question. That's that's the actual thing. You should be trying to answer that question for yourself. Even if you don't want to go there, you should be trying to answer the question for yourself because it's out there for you to be asked. It's out there for you to, for you to be answered. All you need is a hundred bucks and some spit. Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank Learns. I'm teaching. I'm out.